Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to achieve Kate Bosworth's amazing flawless skin um, and the makeup that she then wears with all the different bright color lipsticks that you often see her wearing. So she's definitely someone inspirational that we could take a few things from. And if you sort of look at her past look that she's worn, her skin is always really vibrant and glowing. So today that's the look that we're going to be going for. So to achieve that really beautiful glowy skin, we're going to start off with a moisturizer just to moisturize the skin. I'm just using QV skin lotion today just as a moisturizer. It's just good for sensitive skin. Any moisturizer that you like you can use. So we're just gonna work that on the skin. Strobe cream from MAC. That's just gonna give us a really beautiful sort of luminous glow um, sort of beneath our foundation. And the idea of moisturizing before that you before you apply your foundation is so that your skin doesn't suck the moisture from the foundation and leave it patchy. You can see the difference even just a little bit of moisturizer and a glowy illuminating strobe cream makes. Just going to use a bit of Fix Plus and spray it all over the face just to provide hydration and sort of build a really beautiful texture on the skin. It smells really good. So we're going to sort of start from the base and then work, work up or work out. If you need a lesson on how to color correct for your own face and any skin problems that you have then I'll link my color correction tutorial below. Um, I'm just using a Zoeva concealer buffer brush. I'm using my Graftobian correcting palette. I'm just taking the orange shade on my brush a tiny bit. I'm just putting it in there where it does get a bit blue. And I'm just blending that out in really light feathery strokes. So that's just corrected any blue tones that I have underneath my eyes there. I'm then going to take a little bit of the yellow mixed with this white highlight colour and then add in a bit of a highlight here. Kate always looks super healthy and glowing and so we want to look just like her. So we've got our colour correction underneath here and a little bit of highlighter just to sort of lift the face. So this is the Dermablend Smooth Indulgence Foundation and I'm using the colour Wheat. This product is quite full coverage so if that's what you're looking for then this is definitely up your alley. Just taking a small amount onto the back of my hand. I'm then going to buff that over my face with my buffing brush. This one is from Crown Brushes. Now it's quite brown compared to me but I do have a bit of tan on today so it will work out. Using a buffing brush to apply this product will help us to ensure that it's not too heavy and that it's concealing all of our problem areas well but it doesn't look cakey on the skin. This is a really nice full coverage foundation which I don't usually wear full coverage but today we're going for that really beautiful flawless skin that Kate Bosworth has and for some people we're not going to be able to achieve that without a full coverage so it's up to you as to which foundation you use but I do recommend trying to get your skin as flawless as possible. I'm then going to take a little bit of those highlighters as I took before just a little bit to add a further highlight underneath the eye there. I've sort of rubbed it out a bit with my foundation but that's okay. And This is just going to really lift the face. Kate doesn't go for a particularly contoured look but she is really gifted with the skin and the bone structure that she already has. So this is a technique that we can use to attempt to recreate the look that she has naturally. So we're going to leave our skin for the moment and we're going to move on to our brows. I've already groomed my brows today but I'm just going to add in a bit more pencil just to redefine them. So for you at home, use whatever brow products you usually use. Today I'm using my MAC Pencil in Spiked and I'm just going to reshape them a little bit. Although Kate doesn't have massive brows or really bushy brows, like she doesn't look like Cara Delvine or anybody like that, but she still has brows and they provide a structure for her face. Regardless of the colour of your hair, you definitely need to have some brow structure. So don't be afraid, I will link my brow video before, um, below. So if you are a bit worried and you're not sure on how to do that, then I can take you step by step through my brow video. 
I'm now going to provide a, a small brow highlight right underneath my brow just to really emphasize um, the shape of the brow. It gives the brow a much more finished appearance. Today I'm using my Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables Liner and this one's in 06 Secret Beach. This is super soft and can be used obviously along the brow where I'm going to use it or in the waterline which is also where I'm going to use it today. So I'm just going to line under the brow and blend that out. Just using your flat shader brush to blend that line out. I'm now going to go apply my soft oak paint pot to my lids. I use this all the time, but I know it works, so that's why I use it. And today we're going for sort of a skin toned appearance, so this is a perfect shade for me. Um, some people will prefer painterly paint pot, um, and there's so many other really beautiful primers out there for your lids so whatever you have to use go ahead we're also going to take a tiny bit of that just on our lower lash line now Kate doesn't usually wear a whole lot of eyeshadow if she's going for a bright lip which is the look that we're doing today but she will definitely go for a hardly noticeable small shading of light color around her eyes just to really give them a boost um, as we know she has two different colored eyes which is really beautiful and so this technique draws your attention to her eyes even more but it's not very noticeable and if you didn't look closely you probably wouldn't even realize it's there this is nylon by mac so it's quite it's a really beautiful inner inner eye highlight but we don't want it to be too stark so this might mean for you at home mixing a couple of colors to get the right tone. I also have a little eyeshadow here. This one is called Mimosa by StarsMakeupHaven.com. I bought a couple of these shadows ages ago and this one turned out to be one of the good ones. It's always a gamble when you buy things online that you haven't really heard about. So just on my finger, I'm going to take nylon. I'm just going to press it into my inner eye area just to highlight and blend it out with your other finger if you have to. So that one is like the applicator and the other is the blending finger. Now you can see how this side is sort of more lifted and bright and this side isn't as much. So that's sort of the look that we're going for. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the mimosa on the same finger and just blend it along the lash line. So that is the sort of healthy and dewy sort of look around the eye area that we're going for. I'm just going to take this light shadow, it has a tiny amount of luminosity to, to it. I'm just going to sweep it over the lid and this is going to set our paint pot in place just so that it doesn't mix with our mascara and everything later. For people who don't have to worry about oily lids, that's fantastic, but I do. So we're sort of preventing our makeup from smudging. And this is sort of like a 217, but it's not from MAC. This is my Graftobian foundation in hazelnut that I often use for a contour. It just gives us something really natural and then on top of that we're going to add another layer of another product just to sort of add dimension. So I've just taken a tiny amount of that Graftobian Glamour Cream on the back of my hand. It's ultra pigmented as you can see and that was just the tiniest drop. I'm just going to pick it up on my brush. This is the same brush I used earlier for doing my highlight under my eye area. So I'm just going to take this as I would any other contour but I'm going to bring it down and around my cheek there. So if you smile like this at home, you can see where your cheek comes in. And that is part of Kate Bosworth's beautiful cheeks. So when she smiles, you can really see that beautiful cheek line. So today we're trying to get her cheeks. <laughs> um, and each of us is gonna be different. Some people probably already have her cheeks. Um, Whereas the rest of us may need to contour. I look a bit funny. And then just a little bit around the hairline. So I'm just going to take the same foundation brush that I used before and just blend that out. And really try and blend in that shape underneath the cheek there. So that when you smile, it really high or oh, contours your cheek there. As you can see, I'm sort of using the side of my brush so that I'm not sort of 
bam like that and blending it into a massive strip. I'm trying to sort of keep it isolated to where it already was. And the sides of the nose. I'm now going to add a highlight with my champagne blush stick from Cargo. So I'm just going to take that on the tops of my cheekbones out here. Um, and because I haven't sort of set my foundation with any powders yet, this foundation does seem to set on its own quite a lot, so it's not really too much of a stress. But if your foundation is quite sort of wet and then you then powder it, you want to apply this cream first. Just for blending purposes, it makes life a little bit easier. And I do notice that she really brings her highlighter down onto her cheeks to really emphasize how beautiful her cheeks are. And that's what her look is all about. Cheeks, um, beautiful eyes and brows, nothing too over the top, flawless skin. Just take a little bit down the center of the nose there. Onto the lip. And also be careful with your highlighter over any um, patches of skin which are problem areas. For instance, acne or dry patches or eczema or anything like that. Using your highlighter is going to draw attention to those areas. So if you find you do have pimples on your cheeks and things, try to sort of elevate it and keep it away from those problem spots. We're now going to set our foundation. Today I'm using Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in light. I'm just using a small Haku Hodo goat's hair brush which I love and just the powder that I said just to really set that and anywhere you had some light sort of highlighted areas we're going to use our light powder I'm now going to take my skin finish this one is in medium dark so they're just two different colors and this one I'm just going to use to set the foundation I've used as a contour um, if you have a translucent powder, you can just powder your whole skin with the same color. This is just because I have the products, um, I love using them, but if you don't have the products, don't stress. And I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush, not too much, and I'm just going to sort of set the areas where I want it to be a little bit more tan. Next step, curl your lashes. And next I'm taking my, the Colossal of Volume Express Smoky Eyes Mascara. Now obviously, the healthier our skin, the less we have to fake this really healthy look. Um, obviously life takes a toll on our skin every day and we have pimples and we have um, under eye darkness and we have dry patches and all these different battles that we face every day. But when it comes down to it, you only get one I know that your skin cells are obviously always regenerating, but we only get one body, so we have to look after the skin that we have. So I definitely suggest looking after it, getting a healthy diet, making sure you're getting enough exercise, getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, all of those things. Um, people that you know that are super healthy often have really beautiful skin. So definitely make your skin a priority because your makeup will look 10 times better when your skin is healthy it makes such a difference and make yourself a priority because when you're not healthy then life just isn't as good so next is mascara it's not often that you see Kate wearing false lashes sometimes she might wear a few singles I'm just gonna take that same cargo swimbles pencil in number six secret beach and I'm just gonna line my waterline So today I'm just using a little bit of my much loved um, NARS Orgasm Blush. So just a tiny bit. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Lucas Pore Pore Ointment on my lips. Just because I'm going to show you a few different colours. Um, and I will list them below.
So thanks for watching today guys. I hope that you enjoyed my Kate Bosworth tutorial on how to get her beautiful glowing and healthy skin um, and her contoured beautiful cheeks. Well, hers aren't contoured but I definitely need that contour to get those beautiful cheeks. So I hope that this has been helpful and um, definitely versatile makeup you can wear with any colour lipstick which she often does. So um, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, uh, like my video and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!